Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. So in this video, what I wanted to do was comp uh, compare and contrast two of my favorite string libraries, and that is Cinematic Studio Strings and Berlin Strings. So uh, Cinematic Studio Strings and Berlin Strings. These are the two dedicated um, strings library that I do own. The other ones you know, have strings in them, like uh, Metropolis Arc and uh, Swing, for example. But you know, I find that for the majority of my string needs, these cover you know, everything. I shouldn't say for the majority, I, just, I should say for everything, um, because I haven't found a need to buy any new ones. And just to clarify, my style of writing is more of the uh, Disney, you know, lush orchestral score kind of thing, not really poppy or anything like that, unless I'm doing songwriting, then it's completely different, but, aha, sneak peek. So what I thought I'd do is I'll actually compare a couple of the patches. I don't want to compare every single one because that would take a lot of time and it would be kind of tedious. So I'll compare something like, you know, violins, and then I'll do maybe celli and basses, for example. I'll compare some of the articulations, um, but what I really wanted to discuss was the actual tone of each and, you know, why you should consider one over the other. So let me just play a bit of the legato in, um, in CSS. So that's just a bit of the legato there. And you can hear that as I wrote the mod wheel down to the bottom, it actually faded away to silence. Uh, Berlin Strings does not do that. It just gets quieter. Um, one quick note about the legato, you can hear when I'm playing fast runs. It sounds very smeared and very, um, very smeared, sorry, and very blurred. And that's something that uh, I think is not 100% realistic, even though I'm using the advanced legato. So, you know, uh, CSS is very smart because it calculates how quickly you're playing and then it adjusts the legato speed to match. But I think if it's even faster, it would be a little more realistic. Right now, the notes are overlapping just a touch too much for my taste. Um, however, let's go to Berlin Strings here. Let me play a bit of this. So you can see, even though I'm playing very quickly, none of the notes really sound smeared. They kind of sound, you know, they're still connected one to the next, but um, they're not really muddied at all, which is which is really nice. Cool. Okay, and just the overall tone between the patches, you can immediately tell CSS is a lot more lush, it's more rich and romantic, and the vibrato is very heavy. So that's something that you'll have to consider when deciding, you know, what type of music am I actually writing and what string library actually fits my purpose um, very well. So I find that CSS is wonderful for these types of lush scores, which I do a lot of, but um, if I'm doing something a little more general and maybe not so romantic, Berlin Strings does that very well. Even though here you can see the, the, um, the vibrato type says romantic, it's a very nice default um, vibrato amount. If I did strong, however, that's very that's a very vibratoed sustain. That's definitely more romantic and very much more emotional. But um, so yeah, I tend to stick with romantic and uh, the default, and then here the the vibrato is already baked in, so it's nice. Just a side note here, I'm gonna stick with the the default mic positions that load up with the patches. I find that the mix sounds really, really good out of the box, and so does the tree position um, for Berlin. So I'm gonna be sticking with those. Okay, let's continue. Let's do um, another articulation. How about, let's do spiccato here since spiccato is next. So for Berlin, let's find spiccato. There we go. And something else you'll notice actually that in uh, CSS, the footprint is, you know, this is everything loaded, all the articulations loaded in. This is less than um, a gigabyte, so it's about 75% uh, to one gigabyte. 
And the Legato patch that I had loaded up was actually very, very close to what gigabyte. And that's just the Legato patch. So imagine all of these patches were loaded in, you would be way past your RAM limit if you are on a system as mine, and I only have eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, let's do some spiccato. So let's hear what CSS sounds like. Actually, I should stick with Spiccato then here. A little pan to the right. It's interesting. Let's have a listen to Berlin. Much more of a natural hall ambience. And I actually really like that. Um, Of course, if you want to want to make it drier, you can definitely do that here in the in the settings area or mic position area, I should say. Okay, let's do one more here. Let's do some do some tremolo. Drag that over. Okay, let's do the CSS first. You can hear a lot of the wooden, actually, you can hear the movement a lot there. Uh, for Berlin, it's a more upfront sound, and you don't hear as much of that movement. So to me, the actual movement of the bow is not as pronounced, but um, you, you still get a very full and rich sound from this articulation. Okay. Um, let me load up the cellos and I'll, sorry, the celli, I should say, and I'll see you back here in a second. All right, so I've got the celli loaded up. Let's have a listen to the sustains. So again, a very nice and rich sound. Uh, let's hear the Chili Legato in the Berlin strings. Cool. So again, no nothing has really changed in terms of the sonic quality. Like uh, the CSS is a lot more lush and rich, like we already mentioned. It's almost as if there's like a blanket on top of the sound, making it a little more felty. Um, and the Berlin strings is kind of just punchy in your face and almost like very raw, a raw sound. It might have to do with the fact that the actual section sizes are smaller as well, I believe, because Berlin strings, they wanted to make a, a nice balance between the symphonic sound, but also the chamber sound. So they chose um, section sizes that were kind of in the middle between the two. I think um, CSS was going for the more symphonic sound, so they have larger, larger sizes there. Um, I don't think I need to do the basses, but let me do one more thing. I'll actually pull up the violins, and then I'll show you what I would do in terms of layering. Okay, so we had already discussed how the sound individually sounds like, um, but what if we play them together? So one more time, I'll just show you uh, the violins by themselves. Are very, very lush and very warm in CSS and Berlin. Slightly more cutting and, and all that. So to find a fine balance in between, I love to layer them. Oh, sorry. Actually, <laughs> that's that's just CSS. Let me uh, let me play both. There we go. Okay. 
And to me, that's the perfect string sound, the perfect lush romantic string sound. Not too romantic, not too biting and cutting, but something in the middle. And that makes the section sound huge, warm, lush, and everything I could ever want. So that is why I chose these two string libraries. I feel that Berlin can do everything very well. It's just that in order to make the sound more full and rich, I need it combined with some CSS to really support it and fill up that sound. And that's what makes the biggest difference. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, this is just a comparison mainly between the sonic characteristics and what you would actually do to make them work together. Um, and that's this is what I do on a regular basis. I actually layer them all the time to get that ideal string sound I really love. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out or, um, you know, if there's something I missed, please let me know. I'm always looking to learn more about the libraries as well. And so I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.